adventures Come with me, we're gonna head out west We're gonna head out to the country Then tomorrow let's get the boat And go fishing in the open sea uh, Grab your gear and meet me here Bring the whole family team Mad Mullet Adventures team Mad Mullet Adventures team Mad Mullet Adventures team Mad Mullet Adventures While the pig's got its head down, I can move. Once it lifts its head, I've got to stop. It does look like a ball. doesn't suspect I'm anywhere near him. <laughs> Wind's in my face, so that's good. Down. Yep. She's a boar, or he's a boar. Can't see the entry rune. He's a uh, broken tooth. Yeah, that's okay on that side. Older pig. Let's roll him over. He's got a bit of weight to him. Ah, yes. Nice exit wound there. What are you guessing, old boy? Uh, quick, 80, quick, quick, quick. 87. 87. Oh, she, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. She's a tunner. She's a tunner. Oh, no, it's me. Tana. She's a tunner. Right guys, as you can see, uh, the pig has been gutted. Um, I've left out the uh, the kidneys, the liver and the heart, just to show you um, how healthy this pig actually is. As you can see, it's all the one colour, nice and firm. Um, I'm not going to cut it open, but uh, you can see he's actually a very, very healthy pig. Same with the liver, it's all nice, bright red. Um, 
there's no discoloration and the heart um, that's where the uh, projectile went through so that's why he dropped on the spot dad had a uh, very well placed shot so what we're doing here is starting to skin the uh, the pig and all you have to do is follow this tissue line around just use the, the tip of your knife if you nick the meat wouldn't stress about it too much now a lot of people uh, would say it's a bit of sacrilege skinning a pig purely because you're losing all the best part which is the crackling but um, we haven't got the facilities on this property to dip it to scrape it or scold the hair off so next best thing is skinning as you can see we've got most of the skin down off the pig down halfway down its flank and uh, as we're doing up here in pull down on the skin exposing the um, the tissue line and just like up top as you pull down you, you cut that tissue line just keep going down until you start getting into the shoulder and then follow it through the shoulder and down onto the neck all right we've come uh, down we've taken the um, skin off the shoulder and this now as you can hear that is just solid that's what you call the fighting pad I'll show you actually how thick it is check that out that's inch and a half of uh, protection so when these when these balls are fighting the tusk doesn't go through and injure any of the vitals in behind the, the shoulder here. As you can see, all the skin and the heads off. The cut we're going to concentrate on on this this uh, segment is the loins or the back strap. Best way to try explain it is try and get the centre line of the pig. But it's lightly make your mark Oop, a center line which is your backbone keep your tip of your knife hard up against your your backbone a bit like filleting a fish As in here, that's all bone there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna continue this cut up to meet where the tail is, and I come and stop halfway through the shoulder. We've uh, come up, come to the, basically where I guess the pelvic bone is. I think it's called your pelvic bone. And as you can see, we're starting to Come down hard onto the spine, pulling the meat down as we come, and just use your tip of your knife, and just like the skin, you have a tissue line, as you can see here. All depending on how far you want to go down, whether you want to keep a, a shoulder for a roast, is all depending on where you stop there. So I'm just going down a little bit further. And we're going to cut him off there. And there we go. 
It's what you call your back strap. So your rear half of the actual back strap is what you call your porterhouse or your sirloin. And your front section that runs into your shoulder is actually your rib fillet. Um, now that you can either roast whole, steak it up, cube it, do whatever you want with it. All right, we're back from a honey trip and uh, Dad got that absolutely magnificent ball. Unfortunately, the scars only went to 100 kilos, so we don't know what it actually was past that. Um, see me butcher the the uh, the pig. Now I'm going to show you the basics of cooking it. I'm just going to use some uh, coconut oil. I find it better than your normal oil to cook with. So nice and melted. Even with that bit before. Toss it around to sear all sides, keep that moisture in. And what you're going to do is uh, cover it with Chinese five spice, coconut, and just a dash of honey to make it that nice sticky pork. This is great to have on your wrap, on the side of the salad. This is just an example of how I'm cooking this lot, but like I said in the video, you can roast it, curry it, you can do absolutely anything with it with uh, your wild pork. And just remember, it's the loin, so it's got hardly any fat in it. So you have to watch how, you, how long you cook it for, you don't want to overcook it, otherwise it will go dry. It's been cooking for about oh, three minutes now. Do is add some uh, Chinese five spice. Whoop. Add a little bit of honey, make it nice and sticky. Remember honey is sugar, and if you leave it go in one spot for too long, it'll burn. So, a bit of a toss around off the heat, just to get it all melted, everything nice and covered. As you see, it's starting to go all nice and caramelized now. That's the way you want it. Back on the heat quickly. You don't have to do this, I like for the, a bit of a coconut flavour. Put the coconut all over it. There goes another piece. And then she's done. There you have it. That's my version of uh, your coconut sticky pork. And, uh, Bloody beautiful, cook right through, so nice and moist. Just remember guys, this is our future, we've got to protect it. Until next time, cheers, good luck.